Uh, Corey checking out. You want to talk about space and yeah. rockets? That technology is happening right here in the valley, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's lab coat Monday, or this may be lab suit Monday. Something like that. I'm not sure what it, I what could he's get got behind it though. Sure. Usually it's a hairnet Monday, but we'll go with this. Oh, collar yeah, that's up. That's right. Wow, you look a fish. Pop the collar. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big red, <laughs> uh, big, <laughs> big blue smock uh, Monday for sure, and uh, that's right. Rocket scientists are cool. And we're going to meet a couple here in just a moment. We're here, we're talking about the Antares rocket and the fairing that protects it as it is thrown into space. And you're right, it's all happening here in Chandler at Orbital ATK. And look, these are two of the most attractive of all the rocket scientists that we've met so far. And believe me, they're all uh, fantastic. This is Monique Dalton and uh, Todd Warney and you two, well, pride of Annapolis, Maryland. Yes. And you're from the Valley, right, Todd? That's right. What high school is that? Uh, I was, yeah, Gilbert High School. Really? They must yeah. be very proud of you over there. Of course, man. Go Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Well, behind us is a fantastic piece of equipment. For us who do not design rockets, probably... I'd say less than 46% of our audience is not in the rocket design business uh, at home. Uh, what are we looking at here? What's the purpose of, of what we're seeing here? Okay, so uh, what you are seeing here is the uh, Antares rocket. Antares' mission is to take the Cygnus capsule and it, it brings supplies to the, the International Space Station. So what you're seeing here is, is basically a fairing. Uh, what happens is, is when the Antares rocket brings uh, the vehicle up into space, the fairing will separate, and then it will release the payload, and then the payload, which is a Cygnus capsule, ends up going to the space station. Now, and what's, what sorts of supplies are you going to be delivering to the astronauts aboard the station? Um, more like food and clothing, mm -hmm. essentials that they need that they can't go grocery shopping for. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> You're like the Amazon Prime of space. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, and we, we'll also bring up um, any kind of experimental hardware that may be used for any kind of testing which may exist. Mm -hmm. so. And how, uh, I have no idea. Well, what's your what's the timeline like on you know start to finish just on this piece that we're seeing here on this fairing? Oh, the fairing separation takes seconds. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On, on building it, on what you're doing here at. Uh, at orbital ATK. Oh, th this is certainly, uh, it, it takes roughly a half year to get all these, these elements up and running. So, mm -hmm. um, and this is maybe on the first set of designs, but after we uh, get a design going, manufacturing just takes months. So. Gotcha. Now, Monique, when you were uh, in high school in Annapolis, did you have any idea that someday this would be your world? Is this the kind of thing that you really enjoyed as a teenager? Definitely as a child, I was very interested in the stars and in rocketry, but I couldn't have imagined that I'd be working here. It's, yeah. it's really great. Well, I know you're still looking for, uh, for employees, enthusiastic people to work here at Orbital ATK. You've got, I think, more than 100 openings. Who are the, who are the people you're looking for? What's your... What's the typical job that you're Sure, after? we're looking for all sorts of backgrounds. You could be in the tech field. You could be any engineering, uh, mechanical, electrical, propulsion. Um, obviously, it's, it's rocket science. It's fun. I can tell you I started my uh, college career actually working here as an intern. So I got completely uh -huh. submerged working on not just uh, analysis, but actually got to do design. So we got to build things like this as an intern, or maybe the components and tools that are used, uh, which go inside the rocket, which mm -hmm. allow it to do what it needs to do. So um, great place if you're looking for interning, great place if you're looking to uh, make a career. We don't just build uh, large launch vehicles like this, like Antares. We do uh, targets and we do uh, missiles as well, as well as satellites. So. Isn't it fun to work with people where everyone's operating at a high level? Definitely. The jokes are even more clever, am I right? <laughs> of course you are. Yeah, it's also great. We have a great new hire organization, so there's opportunities not only to develop yourself, but to build strong friendships. Love that. Well, Troy, Andrea, um, I could walk around here all day. The facility is huge. It's beautiful. Everybody's friendly and uh, fun. It's, uh, it's a cool place to be, that's for sure. So Orbital ATK. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll get, to see, get uh, folks a link on how they can uh, investigate if they think this might be for them, but okay. enjoy and the Antares fairing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that beautiful. That and, and your, uh, your jumpsuit. I'm going to enjoy it all. Yeah. Is he going to keep that? <laughs> I hope so. Are you coming back in that thing? 
I mean, you look the part. I think it's exciting too. I, my, I've told you guys all this. My daughter's in STEM yeah. down at uh, U of A. So I, was, I look at that and all these technology companies and all these opportunities. So, you know, you work hard and you get that engineering degree, yeah. and people are looking for you. So and they're at, they offer STEM programming so young now. I mean, even in pre-K right now, my daughter does their version of STEM. Oh, it's smart. I mean, mm -hmm. we yeah, we need people in those fields yeah. for sure. We love space. We do. And we love space travel with local ties. I know. Right? How about that, Core? Place right in Chandler. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and if you were to uh, see the Orbital ATK site, their campus from the street, it's beautiful. I mean, you, you might not even uh, be aware of what happens back here, but they've got a million square feet under roof and you need that kind of room to build what they're building here this is the nose or the fairing i should say for their antares rocket when it's all finished it'll stretch uh, the rocket that is 700 feet into the air it is an impressive uh, beast to be sure and uh, they'll be launching from the kennedy space center in fact they've taken over the uh, space shuttle platform so uh, the uh, gantry i guess you would say uh, from which that uh, uh, all those ships were launched. We'll uh, be, ho be hosting uh, this beauty, but uh, I could look at it all day. But look over here. We got Monique. Well, let's start with you. Now, first of all, how do you describe this guy <laughs> to people? I'm when they yeah. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's true. He's my lead. Definitely a smart guy. A Very good. Uh, he seems to be basking in this uh, in this uh, glow that you're giving. Well, let's step aside so we can see what uh, what is happening here. This is the no the very point of the spear, uh, so to speak. Uh, what uh, is there much technology involved in this, or is this just a hard hitting you know lead blocker, so to speak? Yeah, sure. Earl. I mean, the purpose of this is is what we call pop top. So the the uh, end goal is ideally if if we have to get late access to the payload. Uh, we can put a environment right here on the front of this and, and pop the top and gives you late access to the cargo. Oh, gotcha. Uh, and w when you say that food and so forth is being delivered up there, what kind of food are these, what kind of food does the astronaut crave? <laughs> or what are you packing in there? You know, I wish I knew. I would say probably just packets of, you know, I mean, Astronaut food, you saw it in elementary school. You were an astronaut. What would you like? <laughs> Rice Krispie treats? Yeah, yeah. Tacos. I mean, how much tang can you drink? I want something a little more upscale, uh, I suppose, right. than tang. Well, uh, as we head over here to look into the very heart of this, uh, this beautiful piece. Now, this will, it's, I don't know if it's hinged, but it, it opens, it will open up kind of like a clamshell when it gets up there, right? That's right. So we use ordnance. It's a frangible. So that will, uh, with the ordnance, it, it has the capability. Meaning explosives, right? That's right, explosives. So um, with the explosives, the two halves will separate once it gets into space, which uh, lets the payload out. Yeah. So I, Troy and Andrea, I was hoping that we could uh, sign this thing uh, with a Sharpie, but I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of pushback on I that, so it. probably won't won't happen. Yeah, yeah I've been, I've been <laughs> <laughs> behind the camera. There are six guys who are not in smocks. Oh, oh. believe me. Yeah, no, they, they mean business. Uh, they, they, do they reuse that core, yeah, or is that do. a one-time use? Does that just pop open and burn up when it comes back in? Do they reuse that? Yeah, th this is a this is a one and done event, right? That's yeah, right. just a one-time use. Wow. That's right. And it burns up when it comes back? a lot into... Yeah, uh, what's it like on the descent? Does this thing just burn to a crisp? How does it all happen? Um, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't burn to a crisp. Oh, really? I'll let, I'll let Todd... Yeah, where, where do you think it's going to land, Todd? Uh, it, well, it breaks apart, but it lands in the water. So it goes into the ocean. Hmm. Yeah, Troy. Okay. We're trying to spread panic. <laughs> no, I'm, <sorry. laughs> There's no I'm just panic. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> He's just trying more to more figure more. it all oh. out. Yeah. Yeah. More and more of this stuff is like reusable. Real quickly, yeah. guys, before we go, before we go, folks at home, if, if you're thinking this is the world for me, how do they get in touch with you guys? Oh, you can get on uh, Orbital ATK's website. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got plenty of job postings that are on there um, in, in all sorts of different fields. Very so. good. I work with these two. Happy, friendly people with very large brains. See you soon, you guys.